All right, I'm gonna show you Ed Fenninger teaching his non-dispensational heresies and denying that the book of James teaches salvation by works. Okay, watch this. That's what you're dealing with here. I mean, it's just no common sense. But they, they want to believe James is written, is either preaching other gospel, talking to the Jews, and uh, they, so then, then they just they start assuming that's eternal salvation, James, doing it's not. It's not eternal salvation yet. Now, in this next clip, he used the typical non-dispensational heretical argument that James 2 is about just showing your faith by your works to deny the biblical fact that the book of James is teaching faith and works. Watch this. See, James is the show me uh, uh, a book. Show me. Don't tell me. Show me. Show me thy faith without thy works. You can't. Can't. You can talk about your faith all you want. Until I see some works, I can't, I don't know, what, you know, I have to see if I, if I works. The Lord saw the faith of the men who were letting down the, the guy who was paralyzed through the ceiling. He saw their, he saw their faith by their works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Show me, show, show. Not earn salvation. I will show you my faith by my works. Okay, so him using a typical non-dispensational argument, James is about showing your faith by your works. But well, here's a verse he won't show you that clearly teaches salvation by faith and works in the book of James, that there's an element of works that are involved in, in the book of James, because the book of James is written to Jews in the time of Jacob's troubles, part of their salvation. Here's a verse he won't show you. It's saying it's always by faith, it's always by faith in every dispensation. Check this out. James chapter 4 and verse 8. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Okay? Notice the first part of this verse of James 4.8. Draw nigh unto God, and he will draw nigh unto you. That works, okay? You're having to draw nigh unto God. Draw nigh unto God as a command. You're having to do it. It works, okay? We don't have to draw nigh unto God as a saved Christian. The blood of Jesus Christ does that for you. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were made far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. So you're not having to draw nigh, it's the blood of Jesus Christ that does it for you. But in James 4 8, you're having to do it yourself. Draw nigh unto Christ. Again, that's a command. He's telling them to do it. So they're not covered by the blood of Jesus Christ in that passage. And notice the next part of this verse Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. Again, it's you having to do it. It's a command. Purify your hearts. Purify. It's a command. He's commanding them to do it. Okay. Again, we don't have to purify our hearts. It's Jesus Christ who does it for us. Acts chapter 15 and verse 9. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. So again, who is doing the purifying? Is it you or Jesus Christ? It's Jesus Christ. But in James 4, it's you having to do it. It works. So let's say the book of James teaches faith alone. It's always by faith in every dispensation. It's a heresy. James teaches works. And again, James 2 is not about showing you works by your faith. It clearly says that if you don't have works, you're not justified. You know, James 2.24, it's that simple. But again, they have to twist it and get around it to teach their heresy that salvation is always by faith alone in every dispensation. It's always been by faith from Genesis to Revelation, the everlasting gospel. It's kind of funny because in Revelation 14, 6, when the everlasting gospel is mentioned, they never read the context of what the everlasting gospel is. They never read the context of Revelation 14, 6 because the context shows the, the everlasting, everlasting gospel being defined. But they never read the context. And if you actually read the full context of that verse, it teaches works because you can't take the mark of the beast. Revelation 14, 9 through 11. So again, it's a very uh, satanic heresy to say that salvation is always by faith in every dispensation. It's a heresy. So don't be deceived by this non-dispensational uh, Satanism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.